Hey there, Aquarius. How's it going? We're going to get started on your love reading. This reading is good for the second half of September from the 15th to the 31st. In this reading, we'll be tapping into a connection, a relationship that is of significance, that is of importance for you guys. And your relationship status is not a big deal. It's not significant in this reading. You can be single and still have a connection with somebody. All right. So let's get started, my dear Aquarius. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you that are back, my faithful viewers and subscribers thank you so much for your love and your continued support let's begin aquarius let's see what's happening what's going on with you we're going to start the reading by tapping into you what's happening what's going on with you my dear aquarius then we'll be taking a look at your significant other but we're starting with you because cross watcher is here and wants to know what's happening what's going on with aquarius what are they feeling what are they thinking where do they stand what is their experience what is their perspective right now and everything that's going on let's see we have the three of cups so you aren't so happy not so dandy right hmm you're not really happy. Maybe uh, you're not so friendly. <laughs> Maybe I'm sure you have your reasons. What's this three of uh, cups? Maybe you're not being so social. Be this is the three of cups in its reverse. So there's all there's all there's some there's definitely something off, guys, about your interactions right now. The three of cups reversed. And I do feel like that is because you are not thrilled. I mean, there's no re there's no cause to celebrate. You're not celebrating. You're not happy. And I, I feel like we haven't tapped into your significant other, but I feel like if they are around, this is pretty evident. Now we have the nine of pentacles, which is a, it's a single energy. All right, guys. So I could be dealing with those of you that are single. Maybe you're not single. You're in a relationship, but you've you're there. You've kind of uh, removed yourself just a little bit, singled yourself out um, in in some way. The Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Cups reversed. I do feel like you hold a pretty good position, guys. Overall, I feel like you're happy with where it is that you stand, perhaps the position it is that you have taken. But at the same time, there is uh, something that is that's going on. Uh, I'm hearing around you that you're not the happiest with. Maybe there's friends, there's other people that are in some way connected or involved in this situation guys maybe you're not really being a part of something I mean there's this party there's this get together going on and I'm not there or I don't want to be a part of that or you know I'm just gonna do my own thing that's that's you that's your energy guys okay the month of October is of significance because the pumpkin down here, there's a pumpkin right there. It's just reminding me of fall. It's reminded me of October, November. So those days are significant. Tell me more. Tell me more. We have the Ace of Cups. All right. So this Ace of Cups, guys, I'm seeing this Ace of Cups as uh, could be this other person. So I'm kind of seeing it as their hand. There's been an extension of some sort that has been made to you. A proposal, an offer of some sort. Maybe some of you turned down somebody. Turn, you turned something down. Is that what's going on? You did in some way or another. And that's why this Ace of Cups is here. Like, hey, how about this Aquarius? And uh, yeah, I don't feel like you're participating. You're not participating in something, guys. All right. So that's the energy that you have going on. Hmm. Let's 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 continue. What about your significant other, this other person? What is happening? What's going on with them, guys? Do look out for the second part of this reading, guys. My goal is to upload this reading weekly. As of right now, I am uploading it bi-weekly at the first half of every month and then the set what at the second half of uh the, the month. So the next one I'll be post, I'll be uploading for October the 1st for the 1st and the 15th. So look out for that one. All right, guys. Anyways, 
Okay, we have the justice and then we have the will of fortune. Ooh, two major arcanas, guys. Okay, justice. Yeah, you see, I feel like this cup is on their side. It's like Aquarius, here's this peace offering. Now that peace offering for each and every one of you is going to look a little different, okay? It's going to vary, but it's, it's um, a peace offering of some sort, even if it's not as straightforward, however that resonates. All right, we have the justice and then we have the will of fortune. Hmm, 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 hmm. <sighs> What are you unhappy about? <laughs> what are you not thrilled about? I feel like this person is very much aware of what it, what that is because the justice does bring a self-awareness of what, you know, what is right and what is wrong. And the justice also says that I feel like your significant other <clears throat> knows and has as well taken certain actions to try to correct a certain wrong. Now, with the will of fortune being here, um, I, I do feel like they're coming from a place where they don't really know uh, how this is going to turn out. Because the will of fortune is unpredictable, right? There's also a lot of changes that are happening. There's a lot of unpredictability that this person is experiencing at the present moment, perhaps because of the things that you're doing. So what does that mean? They don't really know what you're going to do, what you're going to say, how you're going to react. But for the most part, I feel like the justice being here, I, I do feel like one, they, you might even be holding them accountable, spe especially so with this three of cups, because there's obviously something you don't want to be a part of. <laughs> but there has been an extension of some sort, uh, an offering, an extension, like here's this, which perhaps you welcomed. But still, you're not fully participating, being a part of something here. So this person could be feeling like these are consequences and repercussions, right? The justice card and the will of fortune, they don't really know what's happening. They're hoping, right, the will of fortune that this turns out in their favor. They're hoping that this turns out in their favor. So what has somebody done? Do also know that... Um, Whatever, however somebody has extended themselves, whatever offer somebody has made you, they are hoping that that gesture there turns out well for them. Okay. We have the justice at the bottom of the deck. There could be a Sagittarius, maybe a Libra, uh, a Taurus, a Leo. I mean, really anybody. Temperance says, I feel like this person is putting forth effort. I do see them energetically adjusting because the temperance says that you're constantly having to adjust your energy. Am I being too much? Am I doing too little? So there is this um, awareness about uh, what um, perhaps maybe how they're coming across, what they're doing, what they're not doing. And I feel like this person is trying for the most part, um, wanting to, trying to balance things out, keep the balance, keep the peace between you and them, guys. They have three major arcanas, okay, temperance. That's what they're doing. Interesting. All right. Now let's take a look at how this situation is going to be developing and moving forward as the days continue to go by, guys. Again, this reading is good for... The second half of September from the 15th to the 31st. And based on what is has happened, based on what's happening right now, we can see future development. So this is future foresight for you about what you can expect to be happening, developing, and moving forward in this situation, guys. We have the Six of Wands, and then we have the Hierophant. Sticking to it. I keep hearing sticking to it, sticking to the plan. There's consistency. There's effort. The Hierophant. This is about strict rules as well, things that need to be followed. The Hierophant. And then the Six of Wands being here. I, I, overall, I like the way that this is looking and the way this is going. 
The Six of Wands talks about certain actions, the behavior as well that is highlighted and that uh, is, I'm getting taken well by you, the Six of Wands. This is uh, honorable actions. Like, oh, okay. Like, I, I, I see that uh, you're doing great things. <laughs> I see that you're doing great things. That's what you can expect, especially so with the hair fun being here, guys. I feel like somebody, this could be somebody keeping their promises, somebody staying consistent. This as well shows a whole lot of loyalty. And the loyalty I'm hearing could come through certain actions that are taken. And I feel like they're, uh, whatever is going to be happening, these actions, these gestures are going to be uh, very nicely reflected on somebody. They're going to be taken very well uh, um, from you. So overall, I feel like this is going very well. And honestly, I feel like this six of wands is this person. So I, I it, what did I say? They're hoping something, they've done certain actions, taking some sort of accountability, tr you know, for the most part, yeah, trying to make things right, balance things out, not, a, you know, just consistently. And uh, they don't really know how what's going to happen or how that's going to turn out. But again, I feel like they're hoping, they're trying. And, and I do feel like they will be successful at, uh, I don't know, let's say stabilizing whatever we have here. The hair font and the six of wands. This is somebody proving themselves in some way or another. Maybe not completely or fully, but I, I do feel at the very least this second part of September, they will make some progress and uh, they uh, will be what whatever they're doing is reflected well is ref, it's being um well taken and reflected well put consistency and progress guys okay that's what you can expect one more card we have the 10 of swords and then the 2 of swords <laughs> how this has been exhausting guys this has been incredibly exhausting the Ten of Swords. I do see a, a a very stressful period coming to an end, but there's still a lot of uncertainty of not really knowing how to move forward. To be honest with you, I'm also seeing this as you. No, I mean, I'm not like this is not you, but I'm seeing like you doing something because your energy is, look, you're not, you're not really fully participating in something. You're not, you're not happy. see someone take um, whatever actions are taken whatever is done it, it's something that is noticed something they will be doing something that is no is noticeable oh I notice I can see clearly what's happening or what what they're doing and why they're doing it right like I I can see okay you're trying or you're doing something but I fear, I, I, I fear that I feel like it's not going to completely give them what they want. Because again, the will of fortune is here, which meant, says what? There's no real guarantee. This could, it might be good, might be bad. You're kind of taking a risk here. Meaning, eh, maybe, maybe it does go good for you. Maybe it doesn't. And I do see them being disappointed. It feels like whatever these actions are that are noticed, they don't really fully get what they want from them. And this is still going to create this uncertainty with them, not really knowing how to move forward or, or what to do next. They might even be feeling like they're getting mixed signals because the two of swords is here and it does talk about like, what do I do? Like uh, thinking, do I do this? Do I do that? I need more information. I need more details to be able to know how to, what to do next. So there is somebody not really needing some sort of direction because uh, something doesn't go as they would have planned. However, that resonates. Okay. 
Now let's get some closing messages. Let's get some closing messages for you. Aquarius, if you want to book a reading with me, this is a great time to do so because there's a discount going on on my website right now. So go check it out. You can book a reading with me by going to the link down below in the description box. It will take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. I will also leave that link down in the comments, guys. Let's see. Best friend. Friendship is a vi is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom. Maybe this is a friend or um, loyalty is also important because the hair font was there, loyalty, proving something, like how what is important to you, certain values as well that are highlighted, that are appreciated, maybe that are being sought. Best friend, friendship is vital to your romance. I'm seeing this friendship, guys, as just symbolic of the uh, relationship between the both of you, which... Um, Well, it's, there's something about the relationship that, um, the connection, friendship, friendship is vital to your romance, feelings deepen and blossom. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Feeling there's a, there's, there's a lot happening. Feelings deepen and blossom. Okay. Emotional development signs and clues. The universe is talking to you. Many of you are receiving synchronicity signs everywhere that are guiding you, that are helping you. This is confirmation, guys. This is also spirit saying, hey, hello, Aquarius. Um, yes, that's us connecting with you through that sign, through that synchronicity. So yes, we are actively communicating with you, guiding you at this present time. So do pay attention, please. And then we have reaching out. It, so I was going to tell you guys that because I saw the page of swords. Look, let me show you. Those are the cards we saw, right? Two of swords, six of, and then, uh -huh. and then the hair font, the will of fortune, the temperance, right? And then look, that's a new card, page of swords. So many of you, there's communication that is, um, you know, happening back and forth, reaching out. Expect a call or a text from your person of interest. Expect a call or a text, guys. They're going to text you. They're going to call you. Yeah, because look, you're like, you've, <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want to be a part of this, a part of that. You're still not happy, completely thrilled. You're with, you're not. And that's where we get that 10 of swords. Like, oh, and I think that 10 of swords, and that's when they might text you or call you. I'm hearing, so pay attention to that text or that call and hearing and read between the lines because in that text and that, and through that text and with that call, guys, they're going to try to figure out what to do next with that two of swords. Like they need, they don't really know what to do next. So pay attention to that. Now let's get a card from the Eye of Zen. I am doing Libra next. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I can do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Ooh, the fire signs are always fun. Closing message. Love. Feelings are real and true. A connection between lovers. A feeling of complete emotional happiness. Love. Socialize. <laughs> <laughs> you're not trying to interacting with others brings both balance and happiness right remember i said like you're not you're not really socializing you heard me say it uncertainty a true romantic connection is unclear a deeper understanding is required yeah you see you see you see you see what i'm talking about all right one last message from the self-love oracle this message is for you Aquarius, one last message, one last message. Let's get this one. Offer grace, that's that justice. Offer grace, that's your message, all right? Make choices based on what your heart can live with, Aquarius, even the wrong decisions. We receive grace after we've shown it to others. Offer grace, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.